trust in data what you need to do you just have the data is itself which you want to generate at some graph form so to open the the data so we shall use the example data set or already installed data set with data so in order to access that data set just click file then use example data set come here to here we have data sets installs is installed with data click the option then click to use this data set based on the, the census census data set this is here census data click use and now the data is now running in this software so to visualize the data just click edit enter edit in the command and click enter so this data contains state state 2 then the region then the population population i think population with some adjustment then as we continue there is population also population 18 population of people with 65 population of people with uh, the population in the urban the middle the death the divorce rate the marriages so to start our analysis we shall start generate bar charts so to generate bar charts what you need to do is just click the option graph then choose the option bar chart after choosing the option bar chart so they in the, in ensure that the type of the data is the graph of summary statistics also when you come here you shall enter the scale variable in this section so our scale variable is the population then after getting the population here we are categorizing the we are categorizing the population you can run the main and uh, click submit you can so just click submit there is there is no problem then you can minimize the window and then categorize the data in terms of group one in terms of the region which an individual is located and then click submit again so you can see the population in terms of if he is in northern europe northern central southern west i don't know i just um, um, an interpretation near and see so where, wherever the sample somebody is located you can control the highest population i think is in the it's a, a, just imagine that this is northern europe it is in northern europe and uh, this one is in the northern central central europe southern europe or western europe so we can assume that a lot of our population is located in the northern europe so we can continue generating a more sophisticated bar chart so let us continue and do and enter the next uh, variable so the second variable is the population of people with around uh, in the the divorce rate i i i am the kamati arocha you can look the divorce rate in those cities and then click submit and see how population and the mean of the divorce I don't know how it is not and the mean of the divorce then click submit I don't know yeah you can see yes the divorce rate in these cities these people need look like they do marriages in churches the divorce rate was so low. even you cannot you i was thinking that it has not produced this graph the divorce rate was it is represented with this color red then we can close and open the next scale variable which is the we can try and look the marriages if they were getting married and then click submit so the marriage rate is so it is also so low. so <laughs> this is why the divorce rate is so low. since the marriage the marriages there are no marriages here you can see even you cannot be able to visualize this data well let look at these people the death rate in these in these cities or in this in this region let us compare and see the death rates according to this assessor just click death and then click submit even the rate of death which are represented you cannot see they are so small the death rate was so low in these cities yeah it was so low. even i think in north in northern europe you cannot be able to visualize the deaths in these cities 
I think we have done a lot of analysis. I need to give you some some to go and do some practice. Then you can also click the here in the field and try to test the population of people around 17 years of age and then click submit. Uh, the population was pretty 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 high of these of these angels is not so bad. That's good. That's good to go. So this is the population of people. Uh, around around age, age of age bracket i've just assumed age of bracket of five and 17 in those cities you can continue and do some adjustment and try and check so to name these these bar, bar chart what you need to do you just come to where we have title and give it a name you can you can name it as census survey survey and then click submit and the budget is named so our second mission is to generate budget so these are the commands these are the commands which you need to know in order to be just getting the commands in and the activity will be done for you so this is a command to generate budget for the population divorce marriages death means population of people around the age of 15 to 17 region census survey this is the title so you can just enter those commands. They are so simple commands to enter. Most of the time I use commands, but for this video I have restricted myself to use the appropriate procedure, but the commands will just run on your way on when you interact with the software in both of your work. Then just continue and generate a pie chart for this for for this data set. So to generate a byte a pie chart a pie chart, you need to click the option graphic then come to where we have pie chart option you choose the category the category variable you shall choose the region and the optional things which you want to use we shall compare the population in the region and then click submit so you can see the population in northern europe in northern europe is the biggest here with, which is Karada Kara Green. The population in Western Europe is with this Kara or I think it's, it's this Kara orange. The population in northern in northern Europe is somehow in the south the population looks somehow big in south since it's covering this surface area. In the northern uh, Europe is this blue right. In the western Europe is somehow smaller in the western and in the central northern Europe is this one it's somehow bigger not bad to use this data in your analysis you just need to click above the knee and copy and just put it where you want to use it and you can advance and try and visualize in percentage you can see i was struggling to visualize the sizes to visualize in percentage you just need to click size then come to where we have you need to come to where we have symbols click here choose percentage then click submit so you can see you can visualize that in the southern europe we had 33.08 percent population in the western europe we had 19.11 percent population in the northern central europe we had 26.06 and in the northern europe we had 21.75 percent of the population there so you can learn more about these things they are so simple to use and so simple to interact with i'll close the video and continue the procedure is the same you can do some practice with the data and interact with the data so these are the command to generate a pie chart the command are here graph pie chart population over the region also you can give it a label or in percentage also you can you can uh, you can do what you can give the pie chart a title is so simple you can also give the pie chart a title the same procedure which we use to give the bar chart a title let us continue and generate a histogram using starter so what do we need to do just click the option graph come to here we have histogram click the option choose the variable which you want to generate the histogram for i want to generate the histogram for population in the urban then click submit so this is the population in the urban i want to generate a histogram for so in order to be able to 
interpret and get a bit somehow something interpretative histogram in starter we need to generate a normal curve or, or a kernel curve yeah, we, we need so to generate it what we need to do we need to come here and click the density plot and choose add a normal density plot and then click submit so you can clearly visualize that our data set is skewed to the right side so our data is skewed to the right as our data set show is skewed to the right so you can also generate you can let us minimize the window and also generate a kernel density plot click up inside the plot and then click submit so this is a kernel density plot test so beautiful it is showing you how the population is deviating where we are getting into the the curve is getting deeper then coming out so it is so good in showing the cycles so there is, there is a time where the population is getting to negative close to negative can you see then rising it's so so good it's so easy to interpret so the commands are also here you can use this command histogram population album no more kernel density so this is how you do these analysis using this great software named as that i love it for simplicity as i continuously say simplicity is the ultimate sophistication so this is the ultimate sophistication of data analysis so thank you for watching kindly don't forget to watch the video in the description on how to enter data raw data in starter also in the next video i want to cover uh, scatter